So in this demo, I want to show you how you can create a um, section tag with the rotate, and I'm going to add a stretch action to it as well. Um, so what we're going to do is, well, let me show you the, the block first, and then I'll show you step by step how to create it. So this is the block that I've created. I can rotate it, and then I can also stretch the tail so that I can, you know, make it um, you know, whatever length I need it depending on what I'm cutting a section through. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the geometry we need for the section. And so I've drawn a circle and I'm following the uh, IDCAD standard so it's a half inch diameter circle. I've added the attributes for the drawing number and the sheet number and I've drawn the um, arrow here and I've kept the line of the arrow separate from the line of the text because we want the text to stay right side up and the arrow to rotate. I've added a line and a tail. So once you've got the geometry set then you're going to create a block. So we're just going to create a regular block. I'm going to call it section tag and I'm going to pick my point. I usually pick kind of the midpoint of the line. Select my objects. So I want to select all of these. And then I want to make sure that it is annotative. And I'm going to open it in the block editor. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm not going to worry about that. Just click OK. All right, so now I'm in the block editor. Now what I want to do first is I'm going to add my um, rotate. So I'm going to go in and use my parameter sets and this has both the parameter and the action already built in and I'm going to look for rotation set. I'm going to select the center of my circle and then give myself a radius and I want it to go all the way around and then I'm going to right click here and add a new selection set and for this I'm going to want my tail, I'm going to want the arrow but I want to make sure and leave the, the text and the line in the middle out of that set. Okay, so let's just test our block really quick. It's always a good idea to kind of keep testing as you add actions and see if it does what we want it to do. Yep, that looks good. So let me close my test block. And now what I want to do is I want to add that stretch um, to the, the line and the tail. So again, I'm going to use a um, parameter set and look for polar stretch. And my base point I'm going to make the um, quadrant of this circle and then my end point I'm going to make the end of my tail here. And let me just pull this down a little bit. So now what I need to do is I need to do a selection set again. So I'm right clicking and I know this is a little bit off the screen but I'm going to go to new selection set and the first thing it's asking me is the stretch frame. So I'm going to do my crossing window, like if I'm doing the stretch command, and then select objects. And these are the objects that I want to stretch. I'm going to click Enter. So now let me test my block again. So my stretch is working. Let's see what happens when I rotate it. So now when I rotate it, it rotates, but then my stretch stays over here, which isn't the best. So we need to add the stretch to the rotation. So I'm going to close my block editor, or my um, test block here, and then I'm going to update my selection set for my rotate over here. So I'm going to go to modify selection set, and then this time what I want to do is I want to make sure and I add the, um, the stretch information to that. Hit enter. Let's test it again. Make sure my stretch still goes. Yep. Let's see what happens when we rotate now. Good. And then I can still stretch it. So then let me just close my test block and save my block and close my block editor. And then I've got my um, handy dandy section tag here that I can rotate as well as stretch the tail. So hopefully that helps.